Hey guys, we're gonna do a review on the Aegis Max Ultra Light Down Sleeping Bag. I bought this on Amazon.com for seventy-five dollars. I've been um, I've been looking for a down sleeping bag for about three or four months to replace my old one. My old one was just a little bit too heavy, so I wanted something a little bit lighter. This comes in at like a little over a pound. I think like like like. 18 ounces or something like that. Um, so it's pretty lightweight. It comes in a nice stuff sack here. Um, it's 800 feel down. Um, it's three season sleeping bag, but I just wanted to unbox it and tell you what I think initially. It comes with a little white bag that you can leave it uncompressed for storage. It's not good to keep your sleeping bag in a compressed all the time um, so when you get ready to store it you can throw it in that to uh, take care of it um, so pulling it right out of the thing here they stick a lot of sleeping bag in this little compression set which is a nice compression set by the way it looks very very durable um, yeah so let's go ahead and check this thing out all right this is not a traditional money bag it is a regular sleeping bag, but it doesn't have a hood on it like regular money bags. So you got your nice little Velcro strap here that goes around the zipper. A pull tag on the zipper. I don't recommend you using this because um, it can get snagged pretty easy if you jerk on it up here. See what I'm saying? Um, so I just grab onto that yellow tag instead and just pull that on down. So here you go. Hold this thing up and crawl inside. It looks like a giant foot. I mean, it looks like, and it's got some nice material on the inside material. It's not on the outside. It kind of looks like a trash bag, shiny, but on the inside, it looks like a, a different material. That's a little bit softer, more comfortable to lay on. So. Let's go ahead and crawl inside, show you what, what it looks like with somebody in it. I am six foot, 200 pounds, and uh, I got some, I got, not the smallest fellow in the world. Um, let's see, uh, we'll zip the zipper up. It zips up all the way around you. I said I'm six foot. I got plenty of room up here. Comes all the way up. Like this. Still got plenty of room. Plenty of room. You see that? I got plenty of room. And you can cinch it up with this bungee, bungee cord. And it's got a lock on it. I'm not going to do it right now. But yeah, plenty of room in this sleeping bag. Plenty of room in the foot box. This comes in a green and a black version. I got the black version because it's a little bit wider in the legs, so you can spread your feet out. Um, I don't, I haven't check, checked out the green one, but you can tell by the pictures that the green one's a little bit slimmer in the legs. So I went with the black one. It's a few ounces heavier, but I think it would be worth it. But yeah, I got plenty of room. I can lay flat on my back and I can roll on my side and the sleeping bag doesn't move with me. I don't know if that's a big deal for y'all. It's a big deal for me because I just don't, it's not very comfortable whenever I, the sleeping bag rolls around with me and I feel like I'm in like a cocoon, but this thing's pretty dang warm. Pretty dang warm. And they say it goes down, some people have some reviews online that say it goes down to around 35 degrees. There's a lot of people on there that says that it's not very comfortable under 50 degrees. I live in upstate South Carolina, so winter doesn't last a whole long, whole uh, a very long time around here. So this um, is going to work good for the spring and fall and summer bag, something a little bit lightweight. I did buy a fleece sleeping bag liner for it in case it ever, I ever do go out in the winter time, and uh, I'm sure that would give it a few more degrees of warmth. But yeah, a lot of room in this thing. Very lightweight. Um, it's got a good bit of loft. 800 fill down yeah you can see i can it's going i can lift it over my head that's that's how much room's in here so if you want to get inside of it like this and uh, roll over and put your head in it 
and uh, curl up. There's plenty of room. There's plenty of room inside here to do that. Um, so even though it doesn't have a hood, if you're around six foot or shorter like me, you can just you can curl up in this thing. Sorry, that's my cat Allie. She likes to be in the videos too, don't you, baby? But guys, this is a very good budget sleeping bag. I know down sleeping bags can be very pricey, but this one comes in at seventy-five dollars, and um, that's a pretty good deal compared to what other other price sleeping bags I saw out there. Um, comes in a great little stuff sack. Um, they say you can actually use it as a quilt too. Um, a down quilt. This is my first down sleeping bag I've ever had. So you can wrap it up like this, put your legs in it, and wrap up in it like a quilt in your hammock or whatever, um, if that's what you choose to do. But it seems to be very comfortable, a lot of room inside this little thing. Comes in at a little over a pound. So the zipper is not very good quality on this sleeping bag. It can get stuck pretty easy if you just want to go if you just go slow though I think it'll be all right but if you go like just pulling on it real fast it's probably not a good idea I think they just wanted to keep the weight down as much as they could with this thing so let's see it comes apart at the end that's what I'm that's what I'm fiddling with here if you pull it all the way down it comes apart just like a regular sleeping bag would See if we can't put it back in here. Zip it back up. There we go, just like that. Not, it's not hard at all. So just go slow with it. Velcro that strap up. We're gonna stuff this thing back in the stuff sack real quick. I've heard of people, it says it's really hard to do and it just takes a while. So we're gonna find out. I'm gonna speed this part up on the video for you. You don't have to suffer through it. If you wanted to stick it between your legs like this and just hold on to the to the edge of the opening. Just, just cram as much as you can in there. And there you go. It's got pull string, draw string with a cord lock. Just lock it in place. There you go. Just like that. You can you can put the uh, stuff sack. Compress it down even farther. It compresses down to pretty tight. I mean, you can compare it to my wife's shoe. It's a women's Sperry size seven and uh it's pretty comparable it's a small sleeping bag a little over a pound 75 dollars over on amazon.com